That's a big sticker, sticker dude. dude. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you saw the last video, then I would have uh, mentioned that doing a first track day. So I am getting ready to leave right now. We got Carter back here loading up something in the trailer truck. I uh, got Roy over here. He's helping me put a banner on. Uh, the banner is partially uh, just for advertisement and partially to cover a bit of a crack that I have on that side of the windshield there. Don't know if it's gonna be of any issue because it's not on my side. I better say I'm sorry. And over yonder, we got Emiliano. Um, with the blue EM1, his K24 swapped one. He has two. I don't know if you guys follow him on Instagram or not, but he's got like a bunch of Civics and they're all swapped. But he's taking his main one, which is his EM1 with a K24. And uh, yeah, so he's gonna be here too. He's just changing out some pads and bleeding his brakes really quick because he is a very good procrastinator and is good at waiting until the last moment. So um, we got time to kill, so we're gonna go ahead and slap this on and we're going to uh, Chuck Walla Raceway, right? Yeah, Chuck Walla. <laughs> I don't need to sneeze. Yeah, so we're gonna get the sticker on, hang out for a few, and uh, get on the road. Other people. Uh, it's funny. What's happening, my guy? It smells, like, it smells like black ice in here. Black guys? Black ice. Oh, black guys. <laughs> I, I thought I heard you say black guys. I was like, how do you know what black guys smell like? <laughs> we need so a razor blade. You already got. Um, you already got. Oh shit! All, all switched out. He's got those nasty boy tires. Look at those. Yeah, why are you going some with them, some cheap ass rims and some cheap ass tires? Why are you doing that? Yeah. Why are you embarrassing us like that? Why are you running rotors? Why are you, why are you running that cheap ass stuff, bro? You just have to, man. Come on. All I couldn't afford was the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We made our first pit stop here at the edge of Phoenix. Uh, yeah, and Blythe isn't far away. It's like 150 miles, or not even 150 miles from here. So, I don't know, we're just a little under two hours away. So, we're getting gas right now, topping off, and we're gonna get there probably around 10 o'clock tonight. Eight o'clock, so yeah, probably around 10-ish. Ish. We'll see. It's gonna be cold. Made it, boys. Yeah. Did a lot, but a lot better. It's like I'm barely doing it. Grabs. Really? Before it was like, oh, oh, oh. That's, that's how mine is. Yeah. So I had, know, to do, I had to do. I had to. That's weird. Did you hear that? The intercom just spoke my name. Yeah, dude. I heard yeah. that. <laughs> oh, it's got ham in it. Yep. Got that turkey. Mmm. 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 And so we parked Emiliano's car and I elongated against the dumpster so that way nobody can mess with us we had Willie lock us in. So we're two hotels over. This is Super 8, then Quality Inn, and then we're like the 69 motel or whatever next door. But we needed the cars to be safe because the other lot at our hotel is totally full and sketchy. This yeah, whole place. Right off, the, right off the on ramp. Yeah, so this whole place looks like it was where meth was invented. <laughs> so I'm not really safe leaving that, but I got my steering wheel, got my kill switch, broken ignition switch with a push to start, so I don't think this car's getting jacked unless I take over the forklift. But, I don't know. I think we're calling it a night. It's only one problem though. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that thing out that you just put in my car. <laughs> I got a guy for that. So you're saying that I'm gonna need to wake up so you guys can move, right? Yeah. <laughs> Unless we Austin Powers our way out of here. <laughs> 47 point turn. Believe yeah. that I can get your car out, we hit, hit the e-brake, turn the wheel and just dump the car. <laughs> get that front end out. Right, so we're out here at like 6 in the morning, just ate some breakfast. Uh, I absolutely slept for crap, maybe got an hour of sleep. Cause this guy, if I, I will put the clip in here so you guys can hear what this dude sounds like last night. Is that what Roy sounds like? 
Oh, I'll show you. Oh yeah, I showed you the audio clip, but yeah, I'll, I'll insert it right here. Fuck, it's a little low. It's a little low? Yeah. It's a K20 dipstick, and I marked it. You see the the edging right there? That's cool. All right, so we made it out here to Chuck Walla. Just got registered. Beginner group. Blue wrist man. Obviously, first time out here. They want you to learn the track and learn how to run the track before you do anything. Out there. So they gotta put the rear sway bar on the budget EG here. I don't know where it went. It's probably in the trailer. But they changed suspension, so they have to put the sway bar back on. They didn't have it before. Emiliano's car ready? Almost. Almost. I just gotta take all this junk out from the. Yeah, I gotta take my floor mats out and stuff. All drivers, head to the registration building for the mandatory drivers meeting. Once again, mandatory drivers meeting in 10 minutes. Well. Guess we're going there. So Emiliano and I and Carter's wife just got out of the driver's meeting. We had to buy stickers. Door stickers. The 333 oh, looks way baby. cooler than mine. You could pick it. I didn't see that. I thought they were all the same. No, like, they're green all and black. different. No, that's they had red, blues. I wanted to get the red one. But I mean, the green one will look kind of cool on my door, but. I, want, I really wanted the red one because it would look cool. Yeah, so uh, Roy's pretty much got the car prepped up for me. He was hanging out as like my pit crew guy, so we got to slap the sticker on. Uh, yeah, basically, I guess, since, I mean, obviously, since being first track day, it's going to be very restricted uh, learning the course track etiquette safety and all that so I'm still looking forward to it. It's still gonna be fun. I mean even just being out here is pretty cool. So now I'm a real rice racer. You're a real rice racer bro. This is official. Official ra are you recording? Yeah. Okay cool. <laughs> official 404 and his number sticks. Over my conjo guy. Yeah. RIP $40 stickers. For a twenty dollars sticker. It's your car. We can peel it off right now. So we just finished our first session out. Uh, like I said, it was the follow the leader session, and Miliano's kind of working out some kinks on his car. He's rubbing pretty good. You can see his tires are all chewed up. So wow. Right here now. Dude, that's fucking sticky. Yeah. But, and then his car was having a little bit of airflow issues, so he was overheating a little bit. But we were, he want, they wanted us to keep us close together so we could follow the line best we could. So I think after we get out on our next session, we can actually drive. Hopefully he doesn't overheat. Uh, my car really just felt great. Only issue I had was the helmet that I'm borrowing is just too small for me. So it was really, really pinching my ears. But definitely fun. Definitely fun. So far.
Your bolt, broke out, of, your bolt yeah. Yeah. broke out of your bolt that rotates in. Yeah, broke right out. Well, all right. Your lower controller actually looks straight. I thought I saw a crack though. Um, it looks like it got hit down here. Almost as cool looking yeah, I snapped the camera kit. Camera kit. Yeah. Broke Did you see me spin out? Yeah. yeah I hit the. If I had a GoPro, I would have. I would have caught the thing. Yeah. I ha I hit the second corners or the rivet thingy like he showed us, yeah. but I just it bounced and. I caught into a spin and went off backwards. That was the correct line through there, though. That's the fast line. I probably just hit it too hard. Well, well, yeah, you probably overcooked it a little bit. Yeah, you probably lost your traction, and honestly, because you have a dirty enough, you'll have the instinct to just hammer the gas to pull it back out. Oh, you did? Oh, you did? Okay. But, so I like, yeah. Might be a little too stiff in the rear, and that's why it caused the bounce, or something like that. You never know. Yeah, because I remember you said that, oh, you know, I have a little too stiff in the rear, and that's why it caused the bounce, or something like that. You never know. Because I remembered that oversteer hammer the gas and pull out of it. But I, mean, already I guess I could only do so much. Hey, there is a point where there's nothing left to do but like, oh, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, you're right. I think the arm is good. So, a little loosey goosey problem here. Good news is, it's a cheap fix. I didn't break my control arm like I thought. Pretty sure I just said that in the last clip, but the adrenaline was still kind of pumping, so now that I'm calmed down, have a gnarly migraine, feel like I'm gonna throw up, but easy cheat fix, just a bummer. Yeah, really bummed. These tires feel so good out there, though. Okay. Like, I'm stoked. Like, that was fun. Hopefully the GoPro footage is good. Yeah, because I, I can only take so much. But... Yeah, with the long And then run. when you started, when I saw you spin out, I, I kind of got the end of it, and then I started coming in. And Did it was I kick like, up a good cloud? Oh, yeah. That was <laughs> awesome, bro. I know two I other people like, oh spun out, too. Oh, yeah. I, over here on this end. Yeah, the Miata and the yeah. S. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Dun, 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 Give me a drum roll. Uh, oh, dang. Oh, you broke, broke it. You broke it. It did not come out. You broke it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just to be fair, this is the only eBay suspension part I have because I thought the main difference on these cheapies was the uh, bushings, but I've clearly been proven wrong. The material. Yeah, so I'm going to do some SPC ones now because so I, I guess we, I get a discount. Should we kick his ass now or later for buying eBay? And you know what? No. Where's your car? <laughs> eBay? <laughs> no. Now I know! Yeah. Yeah, now yeah. I know. But I got my first spin out out of the yeah. way, so hopefully yeah. next time I don't. <laughs> yeah. For sure. You got it on camera still? Yeah. Did you marry me, Roy? Oh, yes. Oh, wrong hand. Oh. Fuck your pinky ring. It's lost <laughs> <his> fingers. <laughs> So we found the real problem was that it Check didn't break. It uh, the when the alignment was done last, yeah, it, it right. was only in like two threads. Two threads, that's it. And then this nut was backed out too. So when I was hopping it straight, just pulled those two threads off. Yep. So we can get the wheel back on. We can get this put on. But I'm not gonna go out for another session. Um, I don't want to risk it. And obviously this is gonna ruin the alignment since we don't, you know, camber oh. messes with the toe as well. So we're gonna get this put back together, load it up on the trailer. We'll just have to drive this one home because this was on the trailer too. Um, but this isn't broken, so. All's well and ends well for the most part, but I am still swapping those out.